Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Freshly back from the local VV Boutique, also known in the United States of America as the Sally Ann, a beautiful encapsulated, blow molded, texturized case containing a Black & Decker Pecker Wrecker Vintage smell you can see the quality oh crusty weighing it at a mere two american doll hairs that's 6.99 kanaki stan kopex with the og original pokin bit in the pokin set bit receptacle what treasures lie within i can't hardly wait an empty bromine plastic Index instructiones. Clearly, this was not owned by a man. No time for that shit. Ooh, and we've got some delectable weed drill bits. Check it. Oh, and the ladies' pedicure attachment. Mint. This is really cool. Made in Canada. Predates Chinesium. Proof in the pudding is in the drill bits. Check it out. Toko. Uh, high speed steel, 730 seconds, toco. That's got to be before Chinesium, there was Jap scrap. And J Japan was actually, J A Pan was actually where you'd get uh, cheap machined parts from. Uh, cheap, you know, the, all the stuff that we buy from China, well, our fathers bought from Japan. And uh, now all the good stuff comes from Japan. An interesting body, plastic at the back, metal at the front. Fastener arrangement, the flat head screws, come on. We had Robertson back then. But <laughs> no tangential fastening. It's all axial. Everything. Look, there's even inserted nuts here for keeping the trigger assembly in. Well, let's have a... I would run it, but I'm kind of gun shy hit that <laughs> since the Dremel let the smoke out. I like to have a look inside. This thing is mint. Heavy duty too, all aluminium casting. Look at that. Brushes, brushes are mint. This is a beauty, man. I'm not even into her, I can tell. She's a beauty. Mechanical protection even way back then for the wires breaking off here. Nice big fat commutation bars. And nary a um, scorch mark on the windings themselves. This is a beautiful armature metal fan so this would have been uh, punched and bent put on look at this that looks like a spline shaft it's actually a big long gear it doesn't just fit in here it actually drives wow we can see the pattern a hobbed a proper hobbed gear very nice look at that this thing is beautiful yeah now we're getting into her schmoo oh baked on schmoo and Dead tree carcass, cuttings, and sand. It's an interesting flavor combination. Not sure if it's to my taste. Let's get her out. Oh man, flathead screws suck. All kinds of delectable treats in this one. This got a little bit hotter, but no stank to her, not burnt. Here's the arrangement about for getting the uh, electricity into the brushes, well, the brush holders. Nice brass brush holders, but look at that. They're round. So there's nothing to prevent the brush from rotating other than the curvature worn in on the commutator bars. That's interesting. There's lots of oil in there, too. It can't be good. Doesn't want to, oh, oh. Oh, look at that. Strange brush arrangement. Perfectly round. And the bearing housing cast right into this aluminium, die cast aluminium. Nicely cast. And then painted as well. We can see centered bronze bearing. Oil light bushing. Not worn out at all. So that's good. I don't believe anyway. Yeah. Toy is the day God made her. Here we have the gear case assembly. This is almost what you see in a vehicle where the whole assembly is separate. It's own casement and then bolted together. And we have a little wave spring, a washer, 
but for preloading this super interesting expensive way to make it of course now you just get a plastic tube full of uh full of well you know full of these kind of gears this looks like a spur gear arrangement that's offset so the it looks like an idler here, so the uh, here I'm guessing input to an idler. So small, big gear connected directly on that shaft to a little gear, which drives a big gear here. So that's where your reduction comes from. That's what I'm guessing. I've been wrong before, but not this time. There we go. Uh oh, where did that come from? Fuck. That's good grease, despite its many years of servitude, or inservitude. It hasn't broken down, it hasn't liquefied and broken down into solids and, and schmoo. Interesting bearing there too, rolled races. See that formed rolled races, that must be some sort of thrust bearing, yeah. And the cage, look at the weird cage, we gotta have a look at that. Yeah, look at that beauty. Of course, it rolls on a hardened race on the face. And it's retained. That's the bearing race there. That's actually the race. Very cute. And that is a greasy cork stuffer, too. They eh? Not shy with the grease back in the days. I don't know how that comes off. Maybe got enough to spare there. <laughs> Which brings up a point, I can't win. I mean, it's the internet, right? So I put on gloves and I get called out for wearing bitch mittens. I don't put on gloves, I get called out for sticking my finger in greasy holes. You just... Tant qu'à moi, là, ça se lave. Big deal. It doesn't... It's grease, man. It's like... I don't know, like Vaseline. It's... Vaseline is petroleum jelly. I use it all the time for... S stuff. Now, ben, tabarnak, la plate salée, a thickened. <laughs> the, <laughs> the plot thickens, lads. This has been serviced. I feel betrayed. I, I'm not her first. See? Green grease. So maybe all this uh, abundance, overabundance of schmoo was some fucking keener subverting the prime directive. Prime directive, of course, being if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Unless you want to fix it until it is. I don't know what that is, but there's some weird shit going on in here. Weird and wonderful shit. All the gears, of course, predate powder metallurgy. So, well, probably not, but it wasn't in widespread use. So these would have all been good steel and then hobbed. All these gears spin them a thingin'. One ball bearing and the whole works. It's not even, a, it's more, it's a thrust bearing, not a deep groove ball bearing. Here's the little wee chuck 3 8 kind of, well, frankly useless. Jacobs, though, made in the United States of Freedom. Goes all the way to 10 millimeters. Multi-craft. So this must have been their lower end kind of chuck for craptacular prosumer tools or home gamer tools. A little bit crunchy. Oh, I don't see any wrench marks on that, but seems like it's been over tightened. Oh yeah. Yeah, you see the teeth. On these little tiny ones, what the chuck, why is the chuck key always stripped right out of her? And it's always right where you need it too, because it only you know, it only works right here, because if you're here you're at the spade bit or you know <laughs> the slugging bit or whatever you're trying to drive. We'll put that back on. Okay, we'll get her back together. Quit dicking around. This is cute here, getting her back together. Little mica sheet. Insulating sheet and uh, another spacer washer, some sort of phenolic or just fiber. Soft spacer. <laughs> deep reduction porn right there. Look at that. That is a deep reduction for a uh, well, spur gear set. Let's see. Let's. I'll, I'll tell you here. 16 and a half to 1. And I failed to notice this the first time around. Look how thick the laminations are. Super thick. Lots of heat loss in this thing. And... No balancing, no balancing at all. Just this little piece of brass <laughs> jammed in there. So I imagine she's got a fair bit of a weeble wobble to her at speed. 16 and a half to one. 
So that would mean, what's this turning at? I don't know. It's probably turning at uh, 15,000 ripples, something like that. While we're at it, we'll clear up the commutator, but that black stuff isn't necessarily bad. A lot of times it's just wiped graphite and it's actually a good lubricant. So it's not, you know, if it's just a film like, like you just saw, it's really not necessary to clean that. Now this plastique is marked, so I don't know, it might be polypropylene, PP. Definitely no glass fiber reinforcing. Definitely not nylon. Feels too stiff to be ABS. Switch here. Wonder Lab listed, patented. Must be good. Two, oh, it's two speed. <laughs> So seeing as how it's two speed, 125 VAC, it must just have two sets of contacts. That, I guess with a big resistor, how would that work? I wonder how that, I wonder if I can get her A part. Well, that's a silly statement. No question I can get her A part. The question is if I can get her back together. Sometimes, especially these things go spring them a sprung and you're fact. Now this is cute, you don't see this every day. Trigger lock, what for inserting you very violently <laughs> into a low earth orbit. But of course, it's just a little wee drill, so shouldn't be teabag. These little contacts, I don't get how this would be two speed. There's only four wires. So hot in the neutral and then to the brushes. I don't see how this would be two speed. I don't think it's wired up for two speed. I think it's wired for go, no go. Yeah, fuck. If only that human rights tribunal wasn't dragging on, I could import a Filipina nanny to do this for me. The little fingers. I would say 12-year-old Chinese, you know, but that'd be awkward. Oh, there's the cock for Dolly. There we go. Okay. So, there is some sort of... Oh, for fucks. Hey, check this out, man. This is pretty cool. Brazed in there is an enclosure for some sort of ceramic resistor. And it's brazed on account of it getting super hot. Pretty. Yeah, look at that. Very cool. If you've seen this type of resistor before, please comment. Uh, I, I've never seen it. I don't know if it's wire wound or maybe it's graphite or something. Very interesting, though, that they would... Yeah, <laughs> they would actually bra take the time to braze the enclosure onto that. And you'll notice on these older drills, there's no Rhodesian reach around Uncle Donnie reverse action. It's forward only, ever forward. So if you fuck up and you know, sometimes you got to take a chip out or just, just tweak it in reverse to get the bit to release. Yeah, you're hooped. <laughs> They don't see this on tools nowadays. That's the ground lead on account of all the tools are double insulated. This requires, because it's a metal body, it requires a grounding lug. Of course, there is no funner way for fathers of old to teach their sons about the wonders and joys of electricity than to hand them a tool that has surreptitiously had the grounding lug removed and tell them to go and drill in a puddle outside in the rain. Ah, you nuts, son. You can't get a shock from that. It's grounded. Here, let me put on my gloves and check. All in good fun back in the day, am I right? What's a little elocution hazard betwixt father and son? Life lesson learned. Never trust authority. Now the real question, will it chooch or will it click? Fart. Spit fire. Corn duck. Oh, stanky. Oh, something funny with that switch. Did you notice that switch looking at it? it? The contacts were burnt there? That's got nothing to do with me. Skook them in the front end. Craptacular. Where the rubber meets the road. And three eighths, Chuck. Come on, what are you going to do with that? Hang pictures, I guess. Now, should I keep this for posterior? Or, uh, yeah, I think you know what we're going to do. Indeed, Mr. Bond. There is no doubt you will find this experience most electrifying.
Four amperes. Full amperage. Five amperes. 130 volts. Six amperes. We are starting to see. Oh, something's roasted. Oh, and a bubbling. No heavy, thick black 70s smoke yet, though. I can't stand it anymore. Let's give her a little reprieve. And zoom in. I'm happy to say you really got a charge out of that, Mr. Bond. Still too ching Mr. Bond. Allow me to introduce you to the tender ministrations of Miss On and Off. Yo, monster! Still choochin'. <laughs> it's, uh... <coughs> yeah, we get it. You vape. I'll, uh... <coughs> <coughs> Oh, uh, um, something, something. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice. I gotta get out of here. Uh, today is tomorrow, and while she does have some wicked bad stank to her, it just doesn't have the same heady bouquet that the Dremel had. So, disappointment.